Hey everybody, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com for all things Vespa here in North America. So what have we got here? You probably watched my prior video of all the Rizoma accessories. I have a video that I did several months ago, uh, the first set of original Piaggio Rizoma accessories. Now there's a whole nother set. Here's the foot pegs. Probably stumbled across this video seeing the description on the title. This replaces the standard fold-out foot pegs with a much tricker and higher quality all machined aluminum set of foot pegs. Part number on these beauties is 1B004742 and it's a complete kit replaced both the left and right passenger foot pegs. So let's open up the box and I'll show you what's included. We've got the beautiful box of all the trick little goodies. Pull the foam out. You have a left and right trim or a scushion or whatever you want to call it. You have the pair of foot pegs, both left and right. Of course, engraved with the word Vespa in them. A pair of brackets. For left and right. Brackets are quite hidden. You don't really see much of the black bracket. And last is the complete hardware kit here. So a couple basic tools are gonna to be needed to complete this install. Have a four millimeter Allen key along with a five millimeter Allen key. These have the ball in for ease of access to the difficult to uh, access uh, fasteners. Got a needle nose to get the clip in place. You're gonna need some sort of grease. We sell this Maxima grease. The part number on this is, I think it's just grease. Um, you'll need blue Loctite, or is highly recommended to hold the, uh, the fasteners in place. And first of all, we'll jump into removing the original folding pegs. So go ahead and open the foot pegs. They're held by two fasteners. The M5 Allen will do the trick. The front one's a pretty easy one. Take care not to scratch your bodywork. And you can use the ball end of your Allen key to finish removing the fastener. The second fastener, of course, is a little more difficult. I'm gonna take the ball end of the Allen. And then I'm gonna do a trick with uh, the wrench here. You know, I have plenty of other tools, but you can pretty much put a wrench on the end of an uh, Allen key and get more leverage on it. So pretty much just put that right on there and that gives you more leverage on an Allen key with just a regular combination or closed end wrench here. So now that we have that started, support the, the weight of the, um, the existing foot peg and go ahead and pull the foot peg out. So the mounting bracket for the Rizoma set of foot pegs is identical, both left and right. Of course, it flips over for the other side. You wanna take the Allen fastener that's included with the foot peg and put it through the little black bracket and go ahead and drop that through your front, front fastener right there, just, just like that. And we'll go ahead and get this started holding the bracket with the screw. Go ahead and get in there. We're just gonna get started into the, the front fastener or the front mounting uh, boss right here. So first of all, get that started. Pretty straightforward. I'm not gonna tighten it all the way, but enough to where it's holding it in place. And also recommend putting the blue Loctite on all the fasteners for these uh, Rizoma foot pegs here. Go ahead and take your alternate rear bracket. This is the mounting point for the uh, trim that goes around this. Go ahead and put the fastener through that and go ahead and catch the, the rearmost mounting. So now you have that pretty much in place. 
Of course, there's some adjustability. We'll go ahead and just snug everything right now. And we'll double check to make sure the trim fits nicely around that. So the trim fits pretty nice. It looks like all the holes line up. So we'll go ahead and tighten the two mounting points. Flip the Allen key around and make sure you don't scratch your bodywork. And again, this one's pretty difficult to access so you can use the ball end of the Allen key and just put the wrench on it and get much more leverage on that fastener. If you're using a torque wrench, you could torque those all the way up to about 15 or 16 foot pounds would be appropriate for those fasteners. So you got a left and a right. The way you can identify the left versus the right is this one right here in my left hand is the one that goes on the left side. It's got the flat that will go up against the body, body work. You can kind of see how it will set right in there. If you put the wrong side in, you would end up with a flat facing out, which isn't quite as nice, doesn't quite work right. So start by installing the spring in this little pocket that's full of grease. Next, you'll take a dab of grease and grease up all these uh, cavities right here, or these machined areas. Let's go ahead and drop these washers into these grease spots, smear the grease in there, and the whole idea is it holds the washer in place. These are the load-bearing load washers, so the aluminum's not grinding against the, um, the bracket here. So we're not gonna install the ball just yet. I found the easiest way to install the ball is to go ahead and partly install the bracket and have the spring cavity right over the, the hole for the pivot pin. Then drop the ball right into that spring cavity. Take a four and a half or four millimeter socket, put it on an extension, and then go ahead and press the ball in here. Because if you try to do this any other way, I found the ball just goes flying. So. So go ahead and put a bunch of pressure with your socket and just carefully slide the ball right into place. Now I'm kind of looking from the top. You don't want to push the put peg out because otherwise the ball's gonna go flying across the room. So the ball has snapped into this frontmost um, cavity right here. Now we can drop the hitch pin in. I put a small amount of grease on the hitch pin. I'm looking at it from over top, go ahead and get that in, pop it in. Now we can check the operation of the foot peg. Works perfect. Snaps right into place. Next we'll get this E-clip, this little guy here, and there's a groove on the bottom of that hitch or clevis pin. Hitch pin actually would have a hole in it. This I think is a, a clevis pin if I recall. And go ahead and you can use a needle nose to get it started or a flat blade screwdriver. All you got to do is you can't really see it in the camera, but get that snapped into the, uh, the clip position right there. Go ahead and wipe all your excess grease. That's kind of all over the place. Maybe you're cleaner than me and didn't get any grease on anything. But Now we'll go ahead and pop the trim in place. So take your trim, snaps right into the opening. Take your four millimeter Allen, Allen key and take the fastener included with the kit. Go ahead and catch the um, threaded clip that was mounted to the foot pad bracket. And you don't need to tighten this all this that tight. It's just holding the plastic trim in place. So there you go. That's tight. See how it works. Perfect. So now repeat with the right side. Pretty much the same steps. Once they're both installed, now you got the trick pegs in there. They just fold right out and snap into place. Snap right in and definitely a different look than the standard fold-out pegs that have been found on the GT since the early days 
when the GT125 and 200 came out, the Gran Turismo. So there you go, one more Rizoma part. Check out our other videos on all the Rizoma accessories that are available for the Vespa GTS. Until next time, it's Robot here from Vespa Motorsport and ScooterWest.com for all things Vespa here in North America. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube, Vespa Motorsport.